In this video, I will show you how to transform this into this using Pixanova. Let us start with this picture of an elk. First let us use the automatic masking tool to cut it out. I can fix this part using the magic wand tool. Now let us create some duplicate layers. Select the bottom layer, and then remove the mask. I am going to use the curve filter to make the background darker. And use the hue slider to make it a bit bluish. In the top layer, I am going to mask out everything but the antlers. And in the middle layer, remove the antlers. Let us review all the layers so far. At the bottom we have the dark and full image. Then we have the elk. The body of the elk. And finally at the top of the stack, we have the antlers. I will use the top two layers, to create the glow effect. Select the antlers layer, and then bring up the color fill tool. Fill it completely with an orange color. Create another duplicate layer. And hide it for now. Select the visible orange antlers layer, and bring up the outline tool. Pick the orange color from the image, and then glow it. Change the blend mode to plus lighter. And we already have the glowing antlers. We will do the same to the other layer too, to make the effect more prominent. Let me select the body of the elk, and then fill it with the same orange color. But this time, we will use the overlay blending mode. I will use the soft brush, to smoothly mask out the bottom right part of this layer. The body of the elk needs to be a bit darker. And the bottom part needs to be even darker. Because this part is not illuminated by the lights from the antlers. I can use the retouch brush to do that. Now let me add another photo to give the final touch. This is a photo of a starry sky. We will use it to give it a glowing particle effect. Reduce the color. And then use the color dodge blending mode. Smoothly remove the outside using the lasso and the brush tools. I think the glow of the antlers need to spread a bit more. This time I am using the mask blur tool to do that. And since the one layer of the glow got spread out, we need to increase the opacity of the other to make up for that. Let me use the retouch brush to further darken the bottom part of the elk.
Also, I think the background is a little bit too dark. Let me fix that. That is all in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.